Hey, what's up guys? It's Oakley, and we're we'll playing a cool empire battle. It's gonna be the Ottomans over there in the distance, and I'm gonna be playing as the Maratha Confederacy. What that gives me access to is these sweet Indian war elephants. So, and yeah, there you see cannonballs flying by. So it's crazy to see, you know, war elephants in combination with cannonry and musketry and all that. So this is definitely gonna be a very interesting battle. It looks like these guys are not armed I want anything but the elephants and the spears. Um, so we'll see how they do. My couldn't my uh, sorry my opponent is going to be uh, positioned down here, and he has a couple um, defensive positions that he wants to hold. One is going to be this 24 pound battery. I already have my uh, Bargear lancers over there, kind of just starting to scout out the position. It looks like these guys are going to start to get some shots off at my formation in the distance. Not the greatest of accuracy, and yeah, you can see over up on the hill my army is going to start to come down and so these guys definitely are going to be afraid of what's coming and you know they can just barely make out the silhouettes of the forces coming at them just imagine what they think when they see the silhouette of a giant elephant coming out from the hill that's when you know you're in for a world of hurt and my scouts have there on the left retreated out of sight we get a little bit of glitching with those infantry in the distance seemingly floating off the ground a little weird Anyways, so the battery is on the left, defended by uh, Nizami Jadit rifles, a Wallachian Boyars unit here. The character models look awesome. And the main line is going to be Nizami Jadit infantry and these uh, musketeers in the back. And they're just going to be here watching the cannonry open up. A lot of veterancy on these guys. And so I'm going for a complete envelopment. I know that if I want to take on this formation, I have to hit the sides. So here come my lancers. Already starting to make the rounds and progress around the flanks here. They're going to try and hit the rear of his formations. My opponent is going to strip off some units to try and hit, uh, cover the sides as well. The general's back there. And I'm now going to start my infiltration of the front lines. I have some of these musketeers in the front. Hindu musketeers. And you can see in the distance just some of the enemy. Let's get a better shot. Some of the enemy guys sticking out in the foliage. So this is going to be my my main approach. Let's see what I'm going to be throwing at my opponent. The front line, I have a couple Hindu warriors. These are melee infantry. See them with these awesome sabers and shields. And then I have some Sikh musketeers. Those guys are just meant to push forward. Almost be cannon fodder, but mostly to put some suppressing fire, draw enemy fire, and give cover for my Hindu warriors to push through. And if I'm going to push through infantry, it's going to be in the woodland there. I have more of them. Sikh warriors here also looking incredibly badass. So I'm going to go for the infantry assault. So my opponent was, you know, he's actually deployed a fair amount back um, from the forest. That's going to give him an open field to fire upon my guys. Probably a pretty good move. So this is, uh, this is going to be the killing fields up through here. You can see some of his pickets out front. I'm going to try and scout my guys as they push through the forest. And the cannon position right there on the flank to hit my guys as I start pushing them through the forest. So he has a pretty good deployment. Um, and I'm not really going to commit to the center until I feel like I have enough pressure on the flanks to distract his guys. And there you go. This is the type of opportunity I'm looking for. If I can draw away his fire from this killing field in the front, that's going to be to my advantage. So here we go my Sikh musketeer, or sorry, my Sikh warriors. I'm going to be pushing up, just forming up through here. The elephants held in reserve for the time being. Don't want them to be caught by a stray uh, cannon or fire. So I'm going to wait till everything's tied up before I, uh, I engage. Here are my uh, uh, Bargear infantry. I love the, the male armor coats used by these guys. Some more musketeers, Bargear infantry. So this is where I'm actually putting my line troops. It's on the enemy flank. It's going to be a pretty good move for me. Um, I don't necessarily need the cover of the woods. That's better used by my Sikh. Uh, warriors, these guys are going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with his own infantry, but he has more veterans for you, so I don't expect to win in any particular engagement due to the call of my men. I'm going mostly for a full-on surround. Right through the front, I engage with uh, his Wallachian boyars with some of my uh, lancers, so I should have a nice initial charge, but his guys are going to be able to beat mine back in sustained combat. I wanted to be able to tie down his guys so that suppressed any of his fire on the flank. My own Sikh musketeer is going to get some volleys off on the opponents defending this position and that's going to give cover for my uh, Hindu warriors to now charge in and clean up these guys 
So this is going to be the initial engagement, silencing the guns, and this is all in preparation for the frontal assault. Hitting the flanks on all sides with my uh, lancers here. So the picket lines are going down. And now we're going to start to form up for the engagement. My forces here, banners, waving forward, calling the advance. Yeah, all along the line. Take a look at that. Here we go, pushing forward. Here comes the massive flank. And the elephants, let's not lose track of those guys. Now is their time to charge. They're going to be timed with the infantry charge. They're going to get going. Uh, and they're going to be targeting this right flank where I'm pouring in more and more um, firepower into this initial push. The Hindu warriors seem to be cracking this formation. However, the rear lines of the Nizam -e Jadid elite infantry are going to be doing a lot of damage to my guys with these concentrated volleys. Um, I'm going to pour in more support from my Hindu warriors. I want to tie up this uh, block right here. And again, just tie down any forces so that I can get in with my elephants. So here come the war elephants. That is so scary uh, for these guys. Not only tied in combat against swordsmen, but yeah, here come the lumbering elephants. Up through the center, we're also going to be getting the charge down the no man's land. So here, here are the pickets desperately trying to hold out. You can hear the saber slicing through these guys, so I'm charging up through this formation. They didn't really have much to support these killing fields. I was holding back in this position for the time being, and now I'm getting engaged now that I've got pressure over here. My elephants are going to continue to charge through now that they've finally been engaged. So there you go, stampeding through these lines, going to tear through these supporting infantry in the back. The other one is going to be committed to this fight to just help shatter this force. You can see them tossing units left, right, and center. Oh my god. So ridiculous. So yeah, that's going to help me clean up. One of his infantry, still, infantry units is still alive. That's okay. I'm going to allow the adult elephants to tie down this formation here. In the center, I'm going to continue to push through. Seek's jumping over the next fence, but they're going to be coming against some Janissaries who are pretty good uh, in melee combat themselves. So his lines are now going to be tied down. I did bring some sick musketeers, like I said, just to have some pressing fire, draw enemy fire. That's going to be working perfectly. This unit is firing at my fodder units. Meanwhile, on the flank... Here comes another charge. Oh god, this is so scary. <laughs> All up along the line. We're going to tie these guys down. You can hear my elephants going to town. <laughs> there goes the bannerman. Let's see what's happening over on the right side. So they actually beat back my Sikh with these, like I was telling you, these uh, Janissaries are super strong. They're going to shoot my guys in the back. That's okay. That was just meant to relieve pressure and do some damage in the front. My Lancers are still active right through there. And I was able to get some nice envelopment here. I was able to actually claim the position behind my enemy line. I'm going to use this little wall here to get some fire. Very Civil War-esque. And then over here, I'm going to have just overlapping fields of fire. My guys aren't that great at combat, but uh, in this instance with the surrounding fire, it's going to be almost no contents for these remaining guys. And these are the Janissary Musketeers, who are very, very good. Um, but in this type of engagement, I'm going to come out the best. Some of my Sikh warriors are still alive. They are kind of tired from the charge that they had to execute coming down from the hill all the way over here. Um, but they're doing a good job to tie down the center. Looks like I'm still going to have... Oh no, that's my opponent actually charging in. Here he comes to his reserves. He's going to actually threaten to push back through my main lines. My elephant's actually suppressed by this uh, Nizam Jadid unit. I'm able to route my elephants, so I didn't make that much of an effect. Even over here against this infantry block, it looks like uh, my guys ended up being killed. So the elephant's not doing too great. I was hoping they'd be able to tie up this flank, but uh, in this period of uh, warfare, it doesn't seem like they're that great. So this flank has been lost. The center is now crumbling. Um, and it's down to whether or not I was able to do enough damage with those uh, exchanges. And now this is where the real uh, finishing blow is going to come, sort of from my modern core of infantry that's been pouring in the fire onto these suppressed units for the most part. But these Ottomans are highly, highly trained. My general just died. Uh, so things have kind of bogged down in this assault. Uh, I've got to be very worried about that. I'm going to start to try and you know, pull out and redeploy into square because he's got... General's bodyguard and other units trying to, to, to keep me back. And now he's going to be able to reform his line. Some of my guys are starting to come back. These Sikh warriors, once they are in the safety of the woods, they're going to try and you know regain their composure and perhaps 
come back and this will be enough to you know keep distracting this force with the united army he would be able to probably take on my units over here but again with the threat to the flanks um i am doing just enough delaying it looks like my guys are going to be shattered here um this Bargear infantry going to be going down um my general's unit here actually they lost their general but the warriors themselves are still in the mix having cavalry late game against infantry is going to be very important so i'm just trying to find the perfect opportunity to deploy them probably going to try and swing around in this position but uh looks like i'm having troubles here as well these uh genissary guys are just super strong my own infantry not really being able to tank it um at least i did have the defenses of this little wall it's going to be doing some um you know good for me it looks like my guys all along the line haven't taken too many losses you can see there uh, i'm more worried about these guys in the back ah here comes my general looks like he's going to decide to kind of uh throw a wedge down the center between this force and this force i really wanted to separate it and that's exactly where my general is going to go prevent them from combining together and my guys look sick with these male uh, veils that they have over their faces. However, it looks like these Janissaries are used to eating <laughs> any type of force uh, alive and they're just killing everything. I'm, I'm eager to see the stats on these guys. They seem to be doing extraordinarily well uh, against my guys. There you go, going down. And maybe the key is to not engage those guys in melee. Um, but that's why it's interesting, this battle. Um, both of our guys seem to excel in melee combat. My General's unit is going to attempt to withdraw before he routes. And I didn't actually do too much damage. On this flank, I was able to, you know, I'm doing focus fire on some of these Janissary Musketeers. I want to take those guys off the field. Not too worried about Nisa Mijadid. It's mostly going to be these Musketeers that I want to target. And yeah, it looks like his volleys are tearing mine apart. Um, this is very, very close quarters combat. Let's see how his losses are going over here. Not too badly, and it seems like my guys are fully armored. His guys, not so much. Um... I'm wondering if that has even an impact, if the uh, little armor that I have on my guys is even protecting them at all. It's more going to be a numbers game at this point, though. So I've lost this flank. They are now going to be focusing on my guys. I'm forced to form into square after these repeated uh, charges from his general's bodyguard. And what I'm going to do in these situations is you have to draw back. Don't allow these forces to engage. Just draw back, fall back, fall back, fall back, and only allow him to engage You know, a couple units on one of your forces. Uh, at a time there focus fire break that then I'm gonna try and oh no oh. I guess my opponent bowed out at that point uh, yeah it looks like this uh, I'm yeah I'm sorry about that I forgot that it ended so quickly anyways looks like this force just broke um, this center broke his general was routing this unit was routing and I had some guys coming back from retreating so it looks like at this point my enemy def uh, admitted defeat uh, it was going pretty swimmingly for me at first, um, but it looks like it kind of petered out, and I think that's mostly due to those Janissaries. So let's go ahead and look at some of the uh, unit statistics. My Bargear Infantry, like I said, at the end of the battle were the ones tanking the kills. Let's see if my uh, Hindu Warriors and uh, Melee Infantry are really not doing too much. Even my War Elephants, they cost a relatively high amount, only getting 18 kills, not even doing that much shock uh, damage. 31 on that one uh, overall, so yeah. I think I just had to put the numbers into that fight uh, for it to do anything. I'm um, trying to find Seek Warriors 26. So yeah, the kills all around on my guys just really, truly pathetic. Um, and I wish I could look at my opponent's stats, see how his kills lined up. Uh, let's take a look at that. Yeah, he got more kills than I did. Uh, and I brought a huge force. Look at that, 1,800 men where he is only 1,200. So yeah, it was very much a, a number, numbers game uh, in that essence. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Sorry that it got short. I forgot about that, and my commentary kind of got cut. Um, but anyways, it was nonetheless a very fun battle, very exciting battle, and it's a nice change of pace for Empire. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.